So a big thing we try and talk about often in Plan Grow Do and our methodology and approach to sales is the modernization of the sales process, is the joining up of buying and selling, uh, and more so the digitization of the sales process and how that fits into salesperson's toolkit uh, and approach to what they do. But instead of us just keep saying that and repeatedly trying to get that across, we wanted to share with you some research that we've been doing to hopefully back up the point uh, and give you a few ideas about what you can start doing differently to approach sales, um, the modernization of sales, and that online offline journey to make sure that you are aligned with your buyer perhaps earlier than what you usually are. Um, we can see here uh, some stats and perceptions around social media. And you can see that uh, over on our, uh, over our, our website in the news section. But some more modern research here suggests that 80% of B2B sales interactions uh, between suppliers and buyers will occur on digital channels by 2025. Now that's not that long away. <laughs> if you're not catching up or at least getting a groundwork in place for what that looks like in terms of communication in a digital sense, how far behind will you be in two, three years time? 44% of millennial B2B customers will prefer not to interact with a sales rep at all. Uh, how do you see that playing out in your work? Uh, how are you going, therefore going to remain relevant? How are you going to become that leading voice, that expert in your field that is the go-to person, is that point of contact, and is that support earlier on in the buying journey? Uh, because 89% of LinkedIn members drive business decisions. What does that mean? Well, decision makers. They have the authority to work with you. And if you're not playing in that space more often, more deliberately and more strategically, what are you missing out on? If all you're doing is shouting on, on LinkedIn, if you use it at all, buy my stuff or share without context corporate posts, what are you missing out on? Because if 90% of LinkedIn members are decision makers, 44% of B2B millennial buyers, customers don't want to interact with you, and your behavior is that of just of a sales rep and a salesperson, there's gaps starting to emerge. Already we can see a quarter of the workforce is made up of Gen Z, uh, and we talk a lot about the attitudes of different cultures, um, different generations working together. For the first time ever, we've got four generations working potentially in one workplace, from baby boomers through to Gen Z, and a quarter of those now are Gen Z. So if you're not enabling as a baby boomer perhaps, or as a uh, Generation X, if you're not enabling the millennials and the Gen Zs to communicate how they want, uh, if you're not enabling those conversations and that digitalization, which is where these people are hanging out, you're not only risking upsetting the staff who can't do their jobs how they want to, you're also missing out on huge opportunities because you're not where your customers are. And also, 90% of buyers say online content has a major impact on purchasing decisions, a major impact. Now, this might be where some of you go, well, that's marketing's job. But we have to start getting beyond that if we are to remain relevant to our buyers, relevant to our customers. We have to move earlier on in their buying journey and therefore become more active in the sales process earlier on. And that has to play out in the form of content. What do we stand for? How do we position as an expert? How do we help and support a defined group of people? There's opportunities undoubtedly in this space to incorporate digital into what it is that you do. If you're more of a traditional business, great. Don't ditch the tradition that works. But you have to become open to opportunity and open to evolving changes in how not only customers, buyers want and expect you to show up, but how your workforce wants their customer to, wants their company and employer to enable them to be able to communicate this way. It's inevitable it's going to happen, so how you position yourself now is really, really important. Uh, I want to also talk about what you can do um, and how we think this approach you can see on screen might help you do it. You've got to first off adjust, adjust your perceptions, adjust your approach, adjust your mindset, adjust the lens, adjust the culture that you're creating for these, for the joined up workforce that you have. 
Adjust so you can personalise and create more human digital connections. Be personal online. Don't just hide behind corporate banners. Adjust to it and be open to change. And therefore adopt to new methods of communication, adopt to new methods of uh, marketing and sales working together and adopt to the requirement that you have to become more active earlier on in the buyer's buying journey. Um, because it's okay ultimately to not know something, but once you're aware of that, you have to ask yourself, how can we do this? How can I become responsible for this? Not that won't work in our industry because it's not going like that. The digitalization is here, it's only accelerating and as more and more Gen Zs fill up the workplace, as more and more millennials become influencers and customers and buyers, it is incumbent on us to create that space to allow that to happen. Because we have to join up buying and selling, we have to become adept to it and we have to adapt therefore to the evolving landscape. Social media is social media as of today. Digital is as it is today. It is going to evolve and we have to adopt, adapt, become adept at it and adapt again to changing customer needs. Because we have to stay true to the fact that we have to sell how our buyer expects to buy and not how we are comfortable to sell and do what we've always done because that's how it's always done and will always be. Um, so some thoughts there around the digitalization of your sales process, uh, joining up buying and selling uh, and what you can start to do to hopefully um, shift your focus but also enable others in your workforce to shift theirs and enable them to start talking directly to your best customers earlier on in the sales process. So I hope that was helpful. More information on the, on the website, I'll post some links. Uh, do drop your comments and thoughts uh, below and we'll chat again soon.